Would everyone please bow your heads and close your eyes? Dear Lord, we come to you on this day, first and foremost, to say thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come this far. Thank you for allowing us to virtually meet together again on this day. And I'd also like to say thank you for placing these beautiful administrators and staff in our lives to help us through these past four years. I would ask that you guide us on our path to adulthood, as well as help the lessons that we've learned come into fruition so we can be the best us that we can be. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Good evening, parents, teachers, honored guests, and soon-to-be graduates. My name is Kaylin Strickland. I'm senior class president. Four short years ago, I walked into a small hallway with six tiny classrooms in a place no one had been before. A group of awkward freshmen took a huge leap of faith and became a unique family driven for success. As we returned last August as seniors, we entered into a breathtaking building created for us, the Trailblazers, the class of 2020, and those in the classes behind us. River City has been home to me in more ways than one. Reflecting back on the years I have spent sitting in classroom, there is one thing that I know for certain to be true. I would not be the person I am today without the teachers who believed in me. I've struggled and I've gained. I've been angry and I've also felt a sense of love. River City is truly an amazing place, and I think many times people do not realize the opportunities it withholds and how unique it is. If we were to truly define River City, it would come to the realization. River City is the potter and we are the clay. This place heals our shattered hearts and somehow restores our hope within ourselves and the potential we have. If we allow ourselves to be great, to ask for help, to look for accountability, and seek guidance, we have a greater potential for success and happiness. River City has given me the chance to overcome many obstacles life has thrown my way. Teachers, you have laid the foundation of knowledge and education in every person's life. This is, they not only educate us, but they also teach us the lessons of life. Because of you, I am strong and can handle anything life decides to throw at me. Because I know everything happens for a reason. You will always be more than just a teacher to me. You are my forever friend, my second mother, father, and support. As we walk across this stage today, we leave behind a legacy, history that will follow us for the rest of our lives. Today, we take our last steps as River City Early College Cougars. This is not goodbye, it's I'll see you again one day. I would like to leave a note to my classmates. We have spent four years together, and that still doesn't seem like enough. Although there are going to be so many goodbyes, there are so many adventures to be remembered. No one has the authority in your life to tell you what you can and cannot achieve. Growth comes with challenges. Every last one of us is unique, and that means we will take on different paths, lifestyles, and obstacles to reach our own success. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter how long it takes, it doesn't matter in which order you go in, as long as you get it done. Yes, you are going to have failures along the way, but failures are just pointing you in a new direction to accomplish what you've set out for. I love each of you past the moon, and I know that you're all going to do great things in life. We all took the path less traveled, and look at the difference it's made. As an administrator, I am fortunate to have taken this leap of faith alongside this amazing group of students. The class of 2020 has surpassed every expectation I could ever have imagined for this unique school. They have been referred to as trailblazers because they have blazed the trail that no one has taken before them. They created a spark, lit the fire, and shined the light for the classes of students that come behind. I have no doubts that they will continue to blaze whatever path lies before them. We began your freshman year referring to you as River City Early College graduating class of 2020, perfect vision. This year, unfortunately, took a turn for what we had previously imagined. I wanted the class of 2020 to see the significance of perfect vision 2020. Instead of a perfect vision for your future, this pandemic has forced us to have a more perfect vision of what is important and the things that should truly be treasured and valued time spent with family, simplifying our lives, and cherishing the memories that will be carried in our hearts forever has led us to live each day with a heightened sense of gratitude. This class of 2020 has earned a total of $794,000 in scholarship awards. Our students have been accepted in colleges from Paris, France to Clinton, Mississippi. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking a chance on River City and allowing us to help guide your future. 
And at this time, I would like to announce the top 10. Bianca Hamblin, number 10, with a 4.69. Number 9, Natalie Harris, 4.699. Number 8, Catherine Torres Cruz, with 4.765. Number 7, Anna Catherine Spites, with a grade point average of 4.795. Number 6, Viraj Patel with a 4.8. Number five, Evelyn Pitts with a 4.857. Number four, Logan Sandiford with 4.895. Number three, Jacob Story with 5.036. And our sal salutatorian, Mason Pant with a grade point average of 5.075. And I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Simran Patel, with a grade point average of 5.098. Before we begin, I just want everyone to take a moment to realize how fortunate and lucky we are to be here. Whether we're seeing this later or hearing this now, I need each and every person living through this time to be absolutely appreciative of the first responders and every individual allowing positivity to flow during these unpredictable times. It is because of their efforts at restoring our humanity that we are able to celebrate today and create more memories. Please show them your gratitude and thanks any way that you can. Now, on the behalf of the class of 2020, I want to acknowledge and thank the people who have strived to make us the best versions of ourselves, shaped us to be resilient, hardworking leaders, and allowed us to openly express ourselves. The graduating seniors and I would not be where we are without the teachers, faculty, and staff. They've truly put every hour, minute, and second into this class to make sure we had what we, tr what we needed and more. I want to thank you for your continuous guidance and diligent work to allow us to progress, not only on paper, but in every aspect of our schooling. You have been at the very beginning of our growth and have consist consistently added to our character to the very end. Thank you for holding us dear to your hearts and treating us like we are family. Above all, I can never say or give enough to ever come close to how you have contribu contributed to my life and the lives of others. You have taught our class lessons beyond math, science, and English, along with opening up our horizons to countless possibilities. These lessons have formed over four challenging years that have driven me and others to accomplish greatness. Again, thank you and much appreciation to the teachers, staff, parents, friends and family who have joined us on this amazing journey. I want my class to remin reminisce on the memories intertwined in these lessons, and I hope future graduating classes will be inspired, uplifted by the wisdom bestowed onto us. These are 20 lessons from the class of 2020. Lesson number one, always, always expect the unexpected because your plans can change at any moment. I remember the summer before freshman year, my plans were set. I was going to the same school I've gone to since fourth grade but I got a call from a counselor at a school that was virtually unknown. This call would mark the start of the next chapter in my life. Of course, I was hesitant about leaving a place I was comfortable in, but my parents thought I could at least go in for an interview. I did and ultimately made the decision to change schools. Honestly, one of the riskiest but worthwhile choices I have made in my 17 years. After all, it led to some of the best times in my existence. Lesson number two. Sometimes you receive more than you bargained for, but hard work only makes those rewards stay. As we know, many of the members of my class will rece receive an associate's degree and high school diploma upon completion, which is a huge accomplishment. This is one of the major opportunities we were offered, but we soon realized it wasn't guaranteed. We were given the choice and we would have to work diligently to keep that chance. Many of us followed through and reaped the benefits. Lesson number three, it is completely okay to go against the norms of high school by allowing yourself to step outside the box. Before I elaborate, I'm not trying to shame those who participate in normal high school activities. However, if you go against those norms, I'm also with you. For example, the closest thing I've had to a high school boyfriend, I can just feel my parents having heart palpitations. Like, I just feel it. So before they completely lose it, <laughs> the closest thing I've had to a relationship is my commitment to taking the ACT. Believe me when I say I've seen that test at least seven times on Saturday morning. <sighs> if my parents were ever suspicious about why I was smiling at my phone, it was because my score improved. 
Lesson number four, learn as much as you can from others and keep your mind open to many different perspectives. River City was a school with students from many different backgrounds, with so many stories to be told. This environment allowed us to learn from many, many viewpoints every day. Lesson number five, remember to appreciate those who have been through thick and thin with you. Let them know how much you care. Never forget to be gracious about those who have had faith in you since day one. There's, there are so many occasions where my teachers, family, and friends have enveloped me with their kindness while telling me I can make it no matter what. They will never cease to amaze me. Lesson number six, adversity, adversity shows your true strength. As a class, we've been doubted multiple times, and through the, each negative comment, we've held our own while having each other's backs. Lesson number seven, there's no better time than these four years to find new talents and hobbies along with perfecting them. Whether it's joining a sports team or robotics, high school is a perfect time to test out the waters. The worst that can happen is you find out you aren't fond of it. Never second guess or regret something you could have easily done to further your growth. Lesson number eight, know what your goals and ambitions are. Even if you aren't solid, or set in stone, goals and ambitions pave a way for what you want to be and do. Honestly, it only helps you. Nine, the simplest actions can take you and others far. Literally unraveling complex equations or anal analyzing intricate texts may not lead you in the right direction. The smallest step can be the one that takes you the furthest, like using your blinker when you change lanes while driving, or doing your laundry. No one loses and you're creating a strong foundation for yourself. Lesson number 10, your ACT or SAT score and GPA is not a measure of your worth and your intelligence should not be reduced to a number. Of, co of course, those are what dictated me ultimately giving this speech, but we show our intelligence and knowledge th through different outlets. Some of us can get a perfect score while others study for hours and fall short. We aren't all wired the same way, nor do our brains solve problems with the same solutions. That being said, I'll never forget what a close friend of mine said when we, were di when we discussed this topic. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a Quizlet, there's an A. Lesson number 11. Sometimes new friendships will arise and form, but remember the ones you already have. Another aspect of changing schools was leaving behind friends you've become so close to. I'll be doing it again this fall when we go our separate ways to different colleges. In spite of this, they keep us grounded and remind us of where we came from. Overall, distance keeps us apart geographically, but our bond can cross oceans and mountains. Lesson number 12. There are some people who have, ha who have your best intentions at heart, no matter, what, no matter what, while others will only use you for, your, for their benefit. Your true friends will go through the fire with you, no questions asked. Through any weather that will stand beside you. Lesson number 13. Do not let anyone dictate your goals and dreams. Create your own path. I came from a community that was okay with tradition and following a set of ideals. The roles that may have fit others do not fit everyone. You shouldn't have to conform to society's wants and needs when you have so much to offer by being unique. The world is waiting for your ideas and, and opinions, not your siblings, parents, or friends. Lesson number 14, treat others as, as you'd want to be treated. Your words and actions should reflect how you truly act and feel. This one seems self-explanatory. Don't put on a mask or facade around anyone. Lesson number 15, your mental health should not be jeopardized for a perfect grade. Take time for yourself. There have been countless times where I have lost sleep and sanity over finishing an assignment or project. I couldn't breathe thinking about the next ta task I had to complete. An A is not worth the anxiety, and an F does not make you an automatic failure. It's okay not to be okay. 16, never let your race, gender, sexuality, Religion, mental, or physical condition define what you can and cannot do. This lesson could have a speech of its own, and there are so many people who have gone through so much worse than myself, but I'll highlight my experience. As a brown girl living in a conservative part of America, there have been many times I allowed myself to be pushed over. I remember every time my name would show up on the roll, I would be waiting to hear it said incorrectly. It got to the point where I would just memorize my place in the list and say it before I was subject to embarrassment. Some didn't mean to be intentionally disrespectful, but others deliberately say it wrong. For those wondering, my name is Simran Patel. Pretty simple, actually. This name given to me by my immigrant parents, parents carries so much weight. 
It symbolizes everything my parents have done to give me the life I have. And all honestly, I would not be on the stage without their constant support. It's because of them that I'm even half the person I am today. That being said, how you got here does not define your character, character roles in society, or how you should be perceived. You are still valid. Your skin color does not make you any less than your neighbor. Your gender does not take away from what you've achieved. The way you love, pray, and live does not take away from your worth. If we realize that these differences can bring us closer, our fears would not lead to hate. Lesson number 17. Your status means nothing if you don't contribute positively to others. Whether you can afford a Rolls Royce or work at a grocery store, if you don't do your part to do good any way possible, the material objects and money will only bring temporary happiness. This school has taught me service over self will make an immense change in so many lives, including your own. Lesson number 18, make the best out of every circumstance you have ever been in. I understand that can be difficult, but each phase in our lives develops our character. Each of us have made it to this point, but none of us have, have the same way of getting to this destination. Our extraordinary journeys have molded us into individuals with various different mindsets and goals. No matter what, we will shine and our brilliance will bring light as we pave our future. Lesson number 19. High school is not the end, nor will it be the last stop on this roller coaster we call life. Right now, this seems like our hardest goodbye. And honestly, standing here, it is. It didn't set in until a couple of hours ago, but I cannot stress this enough. Our story has just started. We have begun a new chapter in our lives that has so many pages to be filled with even more accomplishments and achievements. This isn't farewell, but a proper head start to who we'll become in years to come. And the last and most important lesson, lesson number 20. Create new memories, but never forget the old. Always live life without limits and in your own image. I'll always remember my time here. I'll always remember every person who has had an impact on me, positive or negative. No matter how our paths cross or how we left off, you have a piece of me and I have a piece of you. Our roads diverge, but what we made here will remain. We built the foundation of this school from nothing but an idea. Now look what it has become. In addition, there are others who bask in our greatness and create their own great perhaps. I can't fathom not stepping foot in River City Early College High School ever again. It's unreal. More than that, I'm going to miss hearing the laughs of my classmates. I'm going to miss the days we complain about difficult instructors in Ms. Richardson's office. I can't shake the feeling I won't be giving Ms. Buxton another scare about my grades. There's no way Ms. Bayless or Burris won't be asking about how I'm doing in my classes. Ms. Marshall won't be drilling the quadratic formula into my brain anymore. What I'd give to get a good morning from Mr. Lawson and Mrs. Walker each morning in college, it's utterly surreal and I can't believe we made it from one hallway in the back of Heinz Community College where a whistle would signal us to change classes to walking across the stage with cords and medals adorned on us like Olympians. If nothing else, remember these fine words from a fantastic film I watched hoping and dreaming about my high school days. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mason Pant, and thank you all for coming today. First off, I would like to thank everyone who pushed me for the last four years to be the best I could be. I thank my parents who have made me into the person I am today. You have always supported my academics and the decisions I have made for my future. I love you and know that I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for you reminding me to set high standards for myself. I thank my teachers for helping me to become the best student I could be while having confidence in my ability to learn and achieve. You have always pushed me to strive for excellence and to be an independent thinker. As I move on to the University of Southern Mississippi to earn my bachelor's degree in forensic science, I will take with me the things you have taught me. I would also like to thank my friends and fellow classmates for helping me out when I need it the most. I could not uh, have made it through this journey alone, and I thank you for being there for me for the last four years. I will deeply miss all of you and hope each and every one of you go on to achieve great things and change the world. You have definitely received the best education, so I am sure that will be the case. The time I spent at River City Early College has been one that I consider to be unforgettable. It has been the most wonderful but challenging time of my life. Even though it saddened me that I will no longer be attending RCEC, I know that the memory that I made here will stay with me for the rest of my life. I can go on knowing that many more after us will be able to share that exact same experience that both makes the school unique and a wonderful place to learn. Although this is the end of my time here at RCEC, 
I take joy in knowing that each of us have the rest of our life to shape the future. With our new education and experience, the sky is the limit. Fellow graduates, no matter what happens from here on out, always remember here, to have faith in yourself, and I guarantee you will see all your goals come to fruition. There will be moments in life in which you may doubt of yourself, but just remember all the hard work and dedication it took for you to make it to where you are today. There is nothing that you cannot do, do, do if you stay focused and determined. We all have doubts at certain times in our life. Please remember that you are not alone and that there will always be people like our teachers, friends, and family willing to lend a helping hand throughout your life that are willing to help and support you in times of need. I've learned over the last four years that it is okay to ask for help. This is a time in which you all should be proud of yourself. There are things we accomplished as both individuals and at a school as well. I am proud to be a part of this class as I feel confident that each and every one of you will achieve excellence. Always be proud to call yourself a cougar as I know that my faith in you all is well placed and that I will always cherish the time we have all spent together. Fellow graduates of Rear State Early College and the class of 2020, let's all go out and make our teachers and families proud. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for the memory. Go Cougars! I find it kind of amusing how we're the class of 2020, perfect vision, but we sure did not see any of this happening. Uh, on a more serious note, we really did it, everybody. About 1,400 days ago, all of us were being told that going to this school would be a fool's errand and that we had no chance of making it work. Everyone told us that we were destined to fail. My classmates and I started RCC with next to nothing in an unused hallway at the back of the Heinz Community College except for endless determination and probably the best faculty that anyone could ask for. We struggled greatly, but we sur survived and we strived despite the odds because we did not have a choice. We were going to make this work. We did not do it to prove everyone wrong, but we did it to prove that to ourselves we were right and that we could do it. I want to thank everyone that had faith in us and helped us along this journey. Thank you to Heinz, the school district, our communities, our families and friends, and all of our classmates. A special thank you to one of my best friends and our valedictorian, Simran Patel, who without which none of this would have been possible for me. But most of all, thank you to our dedicated faculty that worked tirelessly with us every single step of the way so that we could be here today. We are a family. To address my fellow graduates, use the same determination and courage you displayed over these past four years in your lives going forward. Put all of your everything that you have into everything you do and pursue what sets your soul on fire. Never stop trailblazing. Take everything that life gives you and then fight for more. Really feel all of your emotions and learn how to handle them. Hustle hard and love harder. Live your life, not the life that someone else has planned for you and not the life that everyone else tells you to live. Do what's right, not what's popular, but what's right for you. And above everything else, classmates of 2020, remember, respect all, fear none. Thank you. Good evening. To the dads, the moms, uncles, aunts, grandparents, teachers, assistant teachers, cafeteria workers, domestic engineers, bus drivers, and our virtual learning team. Thank you for sending your children to the Vicksburg Warren School District. Without a doubt, we could not have created such a smooth transition from our traditional way of school to virtual learning without your help. This is why we are so thankful to the citizens of Vicksburg and Warren County for passing the school bond. During every generation, there has been some sort of challenge, but nothing like what we are facing today. Even though the road may appear to be smooth, there are always bumps in the road we must adapt to. In closing, we are in uncharted waters and the 2020 graduating class of River City Early College must bind together and amplify one clear message. We will not let anything stop us from achieving our goal. Again, congratulations, thank you, 
and God bless. Good evening. Before I declare you graduates, I would like to say a few words. I am very proud of the River City Early College High School class of 2020. Your teachers, principals, and staff worked very tenaciously to prepare you for your future. It is our goal to graduate all students well prepared for college, career, and life. The seniors from the River City Early College High School are headed out into the world more prepared than ever. While in high school, this group of seniors has taken 1,824 semester hours of college coursework. When multiplied by the U.S. Department of Education statistic for the cost of college tuition, the collective savings of our River City Early College students and their families is over $1.3 million. The average number of college credits per senior was 52.1. You are remarkable. There were many barriers that had to be destroyed. Along with great structures and intentional design constructed in order to create the first single district early college in Mississippi. All that work would have matter, wouldn't have mattered without your commitment. Through your perseverance and dedication, you've made history in our community. This senior class can claim the highest graduation rate ever in a non-official 100%. And 14 of you will graduate twice having earned an associate's degree from Heinz Community College as well as your diploma. We have made this investment in you because we have faith in your success and because you deserve it. We believe that you are worth it and can't wait to see what the future holds. Wherever your paths take you, we will be cheering you on and hoping for your brightest future. I want you to know how you've impacted me and so many others. You took a chance when you chose to be a part of the River City Early College High School program. You showed such courage when you made the decision in the eighth grade to enroll into this little known program. We had no staff, no mascot, no colors, or even classrooms. We had a name, a dream, and a commitment from the Heinz Community College and the Vicksburg Warren School Board to make it happen. But we could have never opened the doors of RCEC without you, the students. Together, we built a remarkable institution and forever changed the way education looks in Vicksburg Warren School District. You will never know how much I admire your courage. You are some of the bravest people I know some of you made this commitment believing that sports and band were never going to be an option so you could take advantage of this choice. You did it anyway. Your hard work and success has inspired many students to follow in your footsteps and seek their best futures. Your faith in me, Ms. Burris, and teachers and staff, and more importantly, in yourselves, motivates me every day to do more and provide opportunities to every child in Warren County. You are the founders of the first aptly named High School Lighthouse School in the entire world. Your light shines brightly as you have demonstrated leadership, commitment, and grace throughout this entire journey. I am truly in awe of your accomplishments. Today, we come together to celebrate your greatness maybe not in the way we had envisioned, but we come together to celebrate in the best way we can, and the River City Early College High School class of 2020 has risen to the task once again. You have shown that you are true leaders and that you can finish strong despite your circumstances. There has never been another you, not once, and there'd never be another one. Each and every one of you has something to offer that no one else can provide. I challenge you to embark on this exciting journey with the courage to be yourself because everybody else has already taken. No one was ever recorded in history for being like everyone else. So embrace what makes you, you. Stephen Covey, an author who has inspired many, had a personal mission statement. Live life in crescendo. Simply put, this means to live your life knowing that the best is always yet to come. So dream without limits, 
chase your passions, and never relent from your drive to reach your purpose. Now, without any further ado, I make the following declaration. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Vicksburg Warren School District and the Mississippi State Department of Education, I declare the members of the class of 2020 first ever graduates of the River City Early College High School and grant you the privileges attended upon a graduate. Congratulations. Sina Alexander Araste. Evelyn Monet Bell, highest honor graduate and Heinz Associates degree. Jalen Shundell Bohannon. <music> Treasure Tajane Chicklet. Jade Janelle Cooper, Honor Graduate and Heinz Associates Degree. Desmond Reed Davis, Heinz Associates Degree. Jalen Lamarco Davis. David Russell Dossie, Honor Graduate. Irene Gomez. Kaylee Taylor Gray. Bianna Lene Hamlin, highest honor graduate and Heinz Associates degree. Natalie Blair Harris, highest honor graduate and Heinz Associates degree. Jayla Chevette Houston. Mm -hmm. 
Ebony Shanice Johnson. Edward Leon Jones Curtis Michael McKean Jr. Alexis Dominique Mitchell Mason Gerald Pant, Distinguished Scholar, Salutatorian, and Hines Associates Degree. Simran Samir Patel, Distinguished Scholar, Valedictorian, and Heinz Associates Degree. Viraj Vishnu Patel, Highest Honor Graduate. Evelyn Rose Pitts, Highest Honor Graduate and Heinz Associates Degree. Logan Page Sanderford, Highest Honor Graduate and Heinz Associates Degree. Ali Liddell Selby. Aaliyah Liddell Selby. Ahmed Jihad Shaidi Orlando Lanell Shorter Tremaine Jordan Simpson, United States Air Force.
Michael Earl Smith. Anna Catherine Spikes, highest honor graduate and Heinz Associates degree. Jacob Thomas Story, distinguished scholar and Heinz Associates degree. Caitlin Deanne Strickland, class president, highest honor graduate, and Heinz Associates degree. Catherine Eileen Torres Cruz, highest honor graduate, and Heinz Associates degree. Jason Robert Treble, Honor Graduate. Victoria Alexis Wester, Honor Graduate and Heinz Associates Degree. Christopher Brantley Williams. 